Communications. Amy is handling all of IBEX's PR and media. So before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that we are recording today's webinar, and it will be available on our website later this week. So here we are, Kate and Amy. Um, so I'd like to begin today by pointing out this important statistic. Roughly 70% of show attendees plan a list of whom they're going to visit before ever entering the convention center. So I'd just like to ask all of you, who's planning to visit your booth at IBEX already? And I also want to just start by reading this quote, which, um, is import which has an important message for exhibitors. A lot of show marketers leave it to the show organizer to drive traffic on the show floor, says Ruth Stevens of eMarketing Strategy. You cannot, secede, you cannot cede responsibility to the show organizer to get all the traffic you want to get. You need to take aggressive action. So with that in mind, I want to just give you a little outline of what we're going to go over today. I'm going to start by introducing you to the marketing toolkit. I'm going to show you where to find it on our website, go over the tools that are included in it, and then also show you how to use them. Amy's going to talk about public relations services that we have for IBEX exhibitors. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the 2015 Innovation Awards program. As Erica has mentioned, at the end of the session, we will have time for questions and answers. So as you have questions throughout the webinar, please go ahead and send those to Erica, and we'll address those at the end. So we've created this marketing toolkit to help you market IBEX efficiently and easily. As we've just seen, um, pre-show marketing is critically important to your success at IBEX, and we've created these tools to help you. Your customers and prospects need to know that you're going to be at IBEX and where to find you. So I just, we just want to make sure that you are on the top of their list of booths to visit when they get there. So here I've just got some samples from our toolkit. Here you can see the exhibitor logo. I've got a couple of samples of our uh, banner ads. And then on the right, you can see this digital invitation, which I'm going to show you how to create these. But you'll see you can include your logo, your booth number. There's copy that you can include about your new products. And, um, and then there's show information as well. So these are really easy to create, and I'll show you how to do that. So at this point, I'm going to take you over to our website and show you how to use all of these tools. OK, here we are. So here's the Exhibitor tab. You're just going to want to go over here to the Marketing Toolkit. And here are all the, these are all drop downs that contain information. I'm going to start up here at the top with our IBEX logos. So here you can see the exhibitor logo on the left and then our, our main show logo on the right. Um, there are instructions here on how to download these. Um, it's different depending, if, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. But they're very simple. Um, just go ahead and download these. Um, save them to your computer, and then you can use them. You know, use them um, wherever wherever you use marketing um, or or, or uh, media, digital media. Like you can use them in your emails, um, on your website, anywhere that you need to use um, that that logo. So the next drop down includes our web banner ads. And you can see here that we have several different sizes for you. I know everybody has different, different sizes on their website. So feel free to download um, the one that works best for, for you and you know for your email or website. Um, this one here on the bottom is an animated um, banner ad. So this one's kind of fun. 
um, if if when you set these up, if you would have your web person um, direct um, these to the URL www.ibexshow.com, that would be great. Next is, uh, sorry about that, next is the digital invitation, which I'm very excited about. So this is the invitation I was talking about earlier. I'm just going to show you how to use this so you don't have any problems when you go to do it. Now I do want to point out that you do need to use a GIF or a JPEG format for your logo. So you're just going to go select that file. Make sure that you've selected um, the IBEX exhibitor version. And then you're just going to type in your company name. Put in your booth number. And then type your message. Please come see oops, us at IBEX. Now, you have 350 characters to use here. I would suggest you use all of them. So, you know, include whatever your new product is, you know, include your website, um, an email address to set up meetings, whatever, but don't leave any of those characters unused. So then just go ahead and click Create, and the file will download. It's a PDF file, so that's where you'll access it, wherever your PDF files go. And then here you have it. It's um, a customized digital invitation um, with your, your logo, your booth number, your copy would be here about your new products. Um, the boot, your company name is also included in the copy up here. Composites One invites you and your entire company to join us at IBEX. There's some great IBEX show information here. So you get an invitation branded with your company and IBEX just by, you know, just by doing that digital invitation. So once you have this, just go ahead and save it to your computer. You can use it in, you know, as an attachment to emails. You can print them out, um, you know, send them with your sales staff when they go on the road. Any of those options, options can work. So these next two drop-downs um, include information about public, public relations and a press release sample. And I'm going to let Amy talk more about those next, but just keep in mind that this is where you're going to find those. Now in this drop-down, <clears throat> we've created a marketing prep timeline for you. And I would suggest you download this. It's a Word doc file. And just compare this to what you're doing, and there may be some good suggestions in here for you. Um, the other thing I would suggest is um, if you're not doing any marketing yet, this will certainly get you started and um, give, you, give you an outline to go from. And if you have a writer's block, we've taken care of that for you as well. Here again, we have a Word doc that includes a copy that you can use in emails or letters to your customers and prospects. Again, um, it's easy to download. You can just copy, copy out um, the messaging and use it in, in your invitations um, to your list. And again, a similar situation here with um, some sample social media posts that already include our hashtag and um, other show information. You basically just need to go ahead and include your, your company name, your booth number, and then um, these, these um, social media posts are great because they're a good way for you to start talking about IBEX and your booth location to your social community. Um, so just feel free to, to put these to good use. And then finally, here we have some copy for a post-show follow-up email. So you know, following up with, with the customers that you meet at IBEX is so important. And this is just just some copy for you to use um, in, in, in an effort to kind of make sure that those post-show um, connections happen. So that is the marketing toolkit. It is all here right on our website.
I'm going to go back to the presentation now. And I'm actually going to turn it over to Amy to talk to you about all the great um, public relations services that she has for all of our IBEX exhibitors. Thank you, Kate, and good afternoon. Um, as Kate mentioned, my name is Amy Reamer, and I'm the public relations consultant for the 2015 IBEX show. And I'm looking forward to working with all of you in the coming months leading up to the event. Uh, one of the top three reasons a company participates in a trade show is for the publicity for a new product or service. And I would like to take the next few minutes to talk about a few of the free ways you can get noticed with the media as an IBEX exhibitor. In this part of the presentation, we're going to discuss the virtual press office, um, how exhibitors can access the registered and invited press list, um, our on-site press room and media lounge that will be at the Kentucky Exposition Center, how to get noticed during our Pitch the Press event, ways to arrange a press conference or special event, and finally, how to take advantage of our social media tools. So if, Kate, if you can advance to the next slide. Thank you. Um, for this year's event, we will again be offering our IBEX virtual press office. Uh, this section on our website is where we are directing all of the media to go to find out the latest news from the show and the exhibitors. And we invite you to submit your press releases and photos of products um, for us to post to the virtual press office. Uh, the process is uh, fairly simple. Um, once you've written your press releases, just save your Word document as a PDF and log into your online IBEX booth. And right there is where you can upload the press release. And it will show up um, on, uh, right here on this uh, section of our website. If you don't have your password for your online booth, um, you can email either Kate or Tina, and they will send it to you. You can upload up to 10 documents, um, either press releases, fact sheets, other pertinent information, um, images of your new products, um, any valuable information that the media might need. Um, and if this is your first time writing a press release, we do have a sample um, press release in our marketing toolkit, which uh, Kate just walked you through. Um, and in there, there's some suggested copy, um, 10 tips for writing a press release, um, and some other uh, important information. Um, but if it, this is your first time uh, writing a release and you're not really quite sure if you've done it right, once you've written it, you can, of course, feel free to email it to me. All my contact information is um, at the end of this presentation, and I will certainly be happy to take a second look at it before we actually um, you go live with that. So, Kate, if you can advance to the next slide. Um, once you've written your release, um, we definitely suggest that you share it with the media, uh, with the industry press, and also with the local um, local media um, in Louisville. Um, all exhibitors have access to the pre-registered press list, as well as those that have been invited. Uh, so again, if you just send me an email, I'll send you the most up-to-date list that I have. Keep in mind that media register every day, uh, so you can request an up, uh, update to the list um, as we get closer to the show. Um, and we suggest that you send an email to this list of invited media um, and register media. Stop by your booth and learn about your new products and services. We're very lucky to have great relationships with Professional Boat Builder and Sounding Straight Only, Composite World, and Boating Industry, among others, as well as the local media in Louisville um, that are already starting to cover the event. Um, so um, they're all, many of them are already working on pre-show issues, and we definitely recommend that you connect with the editors and publishers to find out their deadlines so you can be included in those publications, um, both in print that will be distributed at the show, but also um, online as well. So if you can advance to the next slide. Um, this year, the on-site press room will be located in room B106 at the Kentucky Exposition Center. And we invite um, all of you to bring 25 copies of your printed materials to the press room. We will be starting to set that up on Monday afternoon, so feel free to stop by. Um, we also suggest that you have several copies of your press material in your booth as well, in case reporters uh, stop by um, to, to see you. Uh, the press room is open to working members of the editorial press, um, but you can also use it if you have in interviews scheduled, um, and you're welcome to use the press room for those meetings. Um, new this year, we're also going to be having a media center on the exhibit floor in the 700 aisle. And this area can be used by the exhibitors for press conferences or other type of media gatherings. Um, and if you'd like to schedule some time to use this space, um, which will be set theater style with a podium and microphone and about 50 chairs, 
um, just email me with a few dates and options on, on times. Um, the space is going to be available on a first come first serve basis, so we'll try and accommodate um, everyone's needs uh, if you'd like to use that space. Um, and within the Media Center, we are also going to be hosting this year um, a reporter and a producer from One Caribbean TV. We're going to be doing interviews uh, throughout the show with companies who have aftermarket products and that will be of interest to consumers. So if uh, you do have uh, any product like that, let me know and we can certainly get you in touch with the folks over at um, the Caribbean TV. Um, within the Media Center, we're also going to be hosting our second annual Pitch the Press event on Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Uh, Alan Went of Voting Writers International and a team of other reporters are going to be searching the show floor for the most unique and innovative products. And we will be walking around um, giving 20 exhibitors the chance to pitch their products to a group of editors and reporters. Um, if you're introducing something new um, and, and interesting that the media hasn't seen before, uh, definitely send me information. You can do that uh, starting today if you want. Uh, we're going to be putting together an Excel spreadsheet and Alan and his team will be reviewing that um, prior to the show so they'll have a little bit of a head start uh, before going there. But they're actually looking for uh, the most innovative new products and we ran this event last year and it was very successful. Um, so we're here to help you. We can help you promote any of your special events or your press conferences you might be planning. Just let us know if you need assistance with uh, any of these kinds of events. Um, if you're planning on having any kind of uh, presentation in your booth and you need AV equipment or catering, um, again, you know, let us know. We'll put you in touch with the right people. We will have a daily schedule of all of the media events that are taking place and uh, we'd certainly be able to include yours as well. So if you can advance to the next slide, Kate. Um, and as Kate mentioned before, we do have several social media channels for you to post your information and your involvement at IBEX. We're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and Google+. Uh, we encourage um, all of you to let your customers know about your participation at IBEX. And uh, make sure to include the hashtag um, IBEX2015 so you'll be listed on all of our feeds as well as yours. And um, if you're new to social media, as Kate mentioned, we have sample posts that are part of the marketing toolkit on our website. Um, some suggestions are simple, you know, looking forward to IBEX 2015, stop by our booth and list your booth number, come by and see our new products and list your booth number at IBEX 2015. Uh, the more you can get out there, um, the more, of course, people are using social media and it's a great way to find you at the show. So as I said, I look forward to working with you in the coming months on your public relations needs uh, during IBEX. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have at the end of the webinar. And uh, now I'll turn it back over to Kate to talk about the Innovation Awards. Okay. Oh, Thank you, Amy. Um, I just want to make, I just want to point out one thing, and that is that the, that the official hashtag for IBEX this year is IBEX15, as you see here on the screen. So um, please, as Amy said, be sure to use that in, in all of your social media. So the IBEX Innovation Awards are a tool to showcase and distinguish outstanding product developments to thousands of marine professionals including the panel of marine journalists from Boating Writers International who are our judges. A win would provide you with year-round exposure in our email campaigns, on our website, and in the press after IBEX. Now on site, all product entries will be located at Innovation Way, which is an aisle devoted to the Innovation Award participants. And you'll also receive exposure at the industry breakfast where the prestigious innovation awards are given out. So to get more information or to enter the innovation awards, please again go to our website, it's the exhibitor tab, you'll see an innovation awards link underneath there. Um, at that innovation awards page, you'll find information about product categories, the rules and regulations, you'll also be able to enter the Innovation Awards there. You'll see I have the, web, the full website here for you. Um, I also have the contact information for Rachel Timko. She's the Innovation Awards Manager, and she can answer any of your questions or help you with any Innovation Awards 
concerns that you might have. So please feel free to reach out to Rachel. So that concludes the information that we have for you in today's webinar. I want to thank everybody so much for joining us. We really appreciate you taking part in this webinar today. And we really look forward to seeing you at IBEX in September. Um, I am going to turn it over to Erica. And we will take your questions for 10 minutes or so. And um, thank you again. Thank you. Kate, okay, we have a couple questions. The first question is, what type of press event do you suggest we host if we are launching a new product? Um, th this is Amy, and uh, that's a great question. Um, thank you. Um, there are several ways to meet with the media while you're at IBEX. Um, you can arrange one-to-one -one meetings with reporters, um, either at your booth or by using the IBEX press room. Um, like I said, the uh, press registration list is available, so if you'd like to invite members of the media to come by your booth and schedule specific times to meet with them, um, that definitely is one way. Um, make sure that the person that you are arranging the interview with is somebody that can be quoted um, and you know has that responsibility um, so that uh, the reporter can uh, definitely uh, write quotes uh, from those interviews. If you have a large product that you are introducing and you're doing demonstrations in your booth, then it's best probably to hold an event in your booth, um, and you can do that as a, you know, some sort of a press gathering where you identify a specific time that you want to get people together, invite them over, you know, two o'clock on on Wednesday, and uh, and host everybody at that at that time. Um, also, you can use our media center on the show floor, um, and if you would like to host some sort of a breakfast or a lunch, um, we can definitely help you arrange that as well. Um, so there's a variety of different ways, but it really depends on what your message is um, and whether or not you need like an in-depth interview where you're looking for one-to-one -one meetings or if you're looking for more broader um, coverage about a specific product, um, that would be more of a press gathering or a press conference. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you, Amy. The next question is, in the marketing toolkit, you described the digital custom invitation. How should I use this in my marketing? Hi, this is Kate. Um, I'll go ahead and answer that. Um, the digital, we created the digital customized invitation for you to use in a couple of different ways. Um, I think I think probably it would be easiest for exhibitors to create the invitation and then either embed it in an email and, and send it to your to your customer list or to um, to attach it to an email and, and just ask ask your list to go ahead and, and, and um, open that attachment. Um, you might consider creating a couple different versions of that, send, you know, send one version to a customer list that, that you're pretty sure is going to be at IBEX, maybe do a little bit of a different message for a prospect list that, that you really want to try to entice to IBEX to, to meet with you and, and see your new product line. Um, you can also, since it's a PDF file, you can print them out and then, you know, if you wanted to use them as as stuffers and packages, or you know, give them to your sales team to take with them, or uh, do some type of mailing. Um, they they're they're very versatile and can be used in that way as well. Um, and if you have any questions or any trouble um, creating the invitation, I'm happy to help you. So you know, feel free free to give me a call anytime, and, and I can go through it with you again. But I hope that helps answer your question. Thank you, Kate. The next question is, can you tell me where I can find the marketing toolkit? Sure. I'll, I'll do that one again. Um, again, it's on our website, www.ibexshow.com. And if you hover over the exhibitor tab, you'll see the marketing toolkit in there. Um, so I would, you know, I would take this opportunity to ask you to familiarize yourself with all those links under the exhibitor tab because they're all important to you. Um, I can't I can't tell you how many times every day I direct people to our website to find information. So again, it's just ibexshow.com, and and if you can just um, make your way to the um, to the marketing toolkit, all of that information is contained in that link. Thank you. And another question: What's the deadline for the innovation award? 
Ah, good question. Sorry I didn't include that on the slide. Um, the deadline is August 12th. Okay. The next question is, how many people do we reach if we share the IBEX Facebook and LinkedIn? Ooh. That's a great question. I should have I should have uh, looked at the numbers before coming to the webinar today. Um, we have over what is our number? 1,800 and more than that at this point. LinkedIn members in our group, and on Facebook, wow, we are. I can't even I can't even remember. I think we're at like we have three or four thousand um, Facebook followers. So it's a really big community. Okay, and this will be the last question. On social media, we are are we guaranteed a follow from IBEX when we follow, or any shares or retweets? Um, well, I I um I try to reshare as much as I can. Um, obviously, on site it's very busy, and I I am the one who is doing the resharing. This is Kate again. Um, but certainly we, we try to do that. Um, what, one thing I do want to point out as well, what, on on the show floor we will have all of our social media channels live um, in in the um, in the lounge and also um, they'll be they'll be available and running in our mobile app. So I would suggest, um, you know, when we're on site, that audience that's seeing all of that social media, you know, just just multiplies. Um, last year we were we were at over a million um, impressions after the second day of the show. So it's just an incredible audience um, once we get on site. So so yes, please please use the hashtag and 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 know that that it's it's there are plenty of people out there in the marine industry is paying attention. Okay. And that will conclude the Q&A. All of you guys who have submitted questions, I will be sure to send those over to Kate, and she will be able to answer those directly to you. But we would like to thank you guys for joining the webinar today. We hope that this information was very useful for you. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email us. Also, as Kate mentioned earlier, the webinar will be available on the website later this week. So thank you guys for joining, and enjoy the rest of your day.